Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century, and it's easy to say that I've never been this excited about a mouse before. So welcome to my unboxing, first look and quick comparison of the just announced MX Master by Logitech. So here we have uh, the MX Master right in front of us. This mouse was announced two days ago. It retails for $99.99, at least in terms of years here in Germany. And I have to say I'm very excited because this mouse has, at least for me, a killer feature. And that's that it supports Bluetooth in addition to the standard 2.4 GHz proprietary system here by Logitech. And since I had some issues with this system before on my Performance MX, I'm really glad that there's now also Bluetooth 4.0 supported. Now, when we take a quick look here at the back of the box, then we have a smart scroll wheel, unique thumb wheel, which uh, the MX Performance didn't have, dual connectivity that I already mentioned. We have the unifying receiver, so if you want to use that, you can do that, or if your computer, for example, doesn't have Bluetooth. But again, you can also use Bluetooth Smart, which is basically Bluetooth 4.0 and you can pair it with up to three computers and you get a battery life for up to 40 days. And I think I've also read that you can charge it for one minute to get two hours of wireless usage. So that's also great to see. And of course, this supports Windows and Mac. And to be specific, it supports uh, Windows 8 or Windows 7 and Mac OS starting from 10.8. So now let's actually cut into the box. And again, I basically ordered it immediately as it was announced. It was a pretty big surprise. And then it was very fast delivered here to Germany. So the first impressions that I actually had is that this box would be empty because it's a very light package. But of course you can already see from the window right here that the mouse is actually in there. So that's already good news that I didn't receive an empty box. Now, of course, this is not supposed to be a gaming mouse by any means. This is more for office tasks, for example. And uh, this has a maximum DPI of 1600, which should be fine for my usage. So I'll put this to the side and then we'll see that we get some quick instructions right here. Don't really think that it's necessary. You probably need the Logitech software to configure all the buttons that are on this mouse. And then we also have just a micro USB cable right here to standard USB. So you can use this to charge the mouse or use it wired. And then that's it that we have beneath there. And then we can take a look at the mouse itself. Now, I'm aware that the design of this new MX Master uh, splits opinions. So I've heard a lot of people who thought that this mouse is pretty ugly. I personally think, at least from the pictures online, that it looks really nice. And also here the first impression in person looks very nice in my opinion. So we have kind of a pattern here on the thumb wrist. Here we already have the before mentioned thumb scroll wheel that I haven't really seen on any mouse before. And we have back and forward buttons. So for example, you could navigate uh, in your web browser. With this, we also have a battery charge indicator, which is really nice to see. And of course, uh, this thumb rest is also another button as well. Then on top, we of course have the main scroll wheel as well as the two mouse buttons. And another button right here, not quite sure what this is for at this time. And then we just see these bronze, I would say, or dark brown uh, highlights, which look really nice in my opinion. And then here at the front, of course, we have the micro USB port where you connect the cable if you need to charge this mouse. And then we have, of course, MX Master here on the bottom and then the connect button. Also one, two, three for the three different uh, computers that you can actually pair this with. And I've also heard that this might be a very popular choice with Surface Pro users because you can configure the buttons the way you want and it's Bluetooth, so that's great to see. And besides that, we also, of course, just have the sensor here. And this is, again, a dark field sensor, which basically means that this will also work on glass as long as I think it's four millimeters strong. So overall, first impressions are really nice. It's very light, much lighter than I expected. But now let's actually make a quick comparison to the Performance MX, which is the predecessor of this mouse, as well as another Bluetooth mouse from Microsoft. So here we have the most obvious comparison between the MX Master on the left and the MX Performance on the right. 
So of course the first thing that meets the eye is that we don't have silver accents anymore but again they are now a bronze tone so I think that looks pretty nice and we also of course have a different pattern here on the thumb rest. Now other big differences are that we now have again this scroll wheel above uh, the thumb rest which we didn't have before as you can see here on the MX Performance. Of course we still have uh, this button in the thumb rest itself and we also have a new position here for the battery indicator so it's down here on the MX Master and it's actually up here on the Performance MX so I think uh, this was actually a change to the worse. But besides that, they are fairly similar and just for overall from the shape as well. If we turn them around, we see some more differences. So first off, the shape and angle of the new MX Master is a little bit different. Of course, I can't already judge if this is a good or bad thing. We'll have to see about that. And also the buttons itself are a little bit different here on the MX Master. You can actually see the cutout while this isn't possible here on the MX Performance on the right. Now if we have a completely different comparison then this is between here the MX Master and then the Microsoft Sculpt Mouse. Now I actually picked up this Microsoft Sculpt Mouse because this was one of the very few Bluetooth mouses available that had decent reviews but of course we already see a huge difference just in terms of ergonomics here on these two mouses. It's just completely flat on the uh, Sculpt Mouse by Microsoft and also the glossy finish is horrible for attracting fingerprints, grease and all that nasty stuff. So I'm really glad that Logitech actually stuck here to this matte finish on the MX Master. Now this will also wrap up my unboxing, first look and quick comparison of the MX Master. Let me know what you think of this mouse in the comment section down below and if you would ever spend 100 euros on a mouse or if that's just too much for you. For me it was uh, still okay because I use my computer 8, 10, 12 hours a day. So it's really important to have a good input device or good input devices overall. And I think this MX Master should be spectacular, especially since it now also supports Bluetooth 4.0, which is the main feature why I bought this new version of the MX. I'm really eager to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for a full review of this mouse and much more content. Thanks for watching, like the video if you enjoyed it, see you next time.